One important aspect of cutting plan and profile sheets or profile sheets or cross-section sheets is to have a title block ready to go. And typically we're going to be handling this through cell libraries. And so I've taken the time to create a couple of different cell libraries here, one for our cross-section border and one for our combinations of plan and profile borders. So let's take a look at those. In our plan and profile border cell library, you'll see that I have five entries, plan and profile, plan only, profile only, a double plan, and a double profile, all based on the sheet size of A1, which is typically a full-size metric sheet. Uh, it would be ANSI D for the full-size imperial sheet. You can create as many different combinations in here as you want to for different sheet sizes, just to make it easier to set up your individual uh, seeds that we're going to be setting up. So uh, just take the time to go ahead and generate these combinations. And a couple of tricks here that I did is, number one, the, the insertion you'll see down here is offset from there just a little bit. And so if I turn on my ASC triad, you'll see that. And what I've done here is the distance between 0, 0 and where this is accounts from my bottom and my left margin for my insertion. And you'll see that later when we actually create our sheet seeds where that comes into play. The other thing that I took into account is I went ahead and established the areas in my title block that are going to be used for drawing. And for example, if this were a plan and profile, I have my plan section here at the top, and I have that on a level called constructions. And I've also set that as a construction class, you'll see here, uh, so that I can turn that off easily. So I have a window here uh, that is uh, true dimension. For example, on a metric 1 to 500, this is 350 meters uh, in length is, is a good example. Uh, if I take a look at a plan only sheet, you'll see that I have a singular border in place to take in into account the 350 meters in length and then the, the appropriate height as well. A couple other things here, make sure that you fill in under your general settings here of your model properties, you know, your sheet name, give it a description. Uh, typically for your annotation scales, we're doing everything with the annotation scales one to one in our sheets. And so the drawing will have the actual scale like a metric one to 500. And then our sheets then would just be at a one to one is the way that we're going to set everything up. I have the annotation scales turned on, propagate annotation scales is on, and again we talked about the accuracy for anything to do with sheets, and so I went ahead and set that to 8 as well. And so go ahead at this time and, and complete all of your different models in your plan and or profile cell library, and then the same thing goes with a cell library that I showed here earlier uh, for your cross-section borders. Basically a copy of this one, and I've just given it a different name. And so taking a look at the cross-section uh, cell library, you'll see that I just have the one in here, the A1 sheet size. I did change the title block, and of course you can you know, put in a horizontal and vertical scales, whatever you want to do uh, in terms of establishing uh, what this is going to look like. Just remember to make sure and anything to do with sheets, set your accuracies, and when you make those changes, save those settings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.